Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. We are from the HD5 and our beloved and handsome lecturer is Sir Muhammad Shami Azhan. Our group is Nur Farsha, Nur Atifa, Shamimi, Shamila, Shasha and Aisha. We are going to study a way to celebrate uh, Malaysian Independence Day. Firstly, attend a um, Merdeka Eve party. Grab your friends and attend the Merdeka Eve party to experience the countdown of history moments with other fellow fellow Malaysians and search the locations that organize the Eve party and enjoy the night. Merdeka! Secondly, we can organize the Merdeka team party as we can raise a place that we can afford it with family and friends. Then we can request the guests to show up to the party very close to represent Malaysia, the color of Malaysia flag. And we can enjoy the party team with each other so that we can be more friendly. <laughs> oh, Atifa! Isha? Hi Atifa! What are you talking about? Oh, today I talk about how to celebrate the Independence Day. What's your point? For me, we can organize a cultural activity such as in our school, college, or workplace. In this event, we can wear three color team of clothes, watching patriotic movie, or listen to the songs they are related to freedom struggle. So it will be more appreciative for for the Independence Day in our country. Also, this event is organized for commemorating our brief leader of history who won the freedom that we are enjoying today. That's all from me. Oh, that's a good point. However, I think we can go to Merdeka Parade. Um, traditionally, a grand and colorful parade is held at Datara Merdeka in Kuala Lumpur, where people can attend and celebrate Malaysia Independence Day. Various government agencies and private sectors uh, join together to participate in the parade. They will march in front of the young Diputu Ango, ministers, special guests and also a sea of spectators. If you don't have chance to uh, be at the parade, you can watch live coverage at your own television to click it into. Last but not least, you can decorate your place with some Merdeka flags. Buy Merdeka decorations such as the Malaysia flags or the Malaysia flags garlands to decorate your home. Display them near doors, windows or hanging from the rooftop. Fly the country flag with pride because they will always remind you of the history of Malaysia that you learn in school history textbooks. That's all from us. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We from Just New Boys. For this, we want to talk about four ways to make sure our mental health is steady and stable. Firstly, get enough sleep. As a normal human, we have to get around seven to eight hours for sleep. It will give our energy it will give our new energy after wake up. Uh, our body also be, be fresh and do not get sleepy in our class. Okay, that's all for me. Move to my friend. Besides that, we need to eat a healthy food and stay hydrated. A balanced diet and plenty of water can improve our energy and stay focused through the day. We also need to limit caffeinated drink like soft drink and coffee. A healthy diet can make us think well Furthermore, I personally think that people should talk to each other more every single day in order to maintain our mental health uh, to stable and steady. By sharing any kinds of story and problems will help to lessen our burden and reduce our stress. Communication is one of the key to a healthy mentality which avoids us from various, il various uh, illnesses that is uh, critical um, such as uh, depression and also the chance of suicide that keeps happening in this millennial world. Physical health and mental health are related. Maintaining your physical health and fitness is based on achieving a better mental health. Apart from eating well and sleeping well, you can either go walking or hiking through a park or a course, shut fresh air 
and sunshine can rise our mood to be more better. That's all from us. Goodbye. On 4 April 2018 in Kuala Lumpur, a student committed suicide by jumping off a building in Seremban despite scoring 10 A's in SPM. According to China Press, the victim was frightened of disappointing her family and was believed under pressure. Surprisingly, this small matter led to a nightmare. On the news, we know that it is very significant for us to track our level of health. Mental health is state of emotional, psychological, and social well-being that enable people to cope with stresses of life, realize their abilities, learn well and work well, and contribute to their communities. It affects how we think, feel, and act. It also determines how we handle stress, relate to others, and make more and make a healthy choices. Mental health is important at every stage of life, from childhood and adolescence through adulthood. <clears throat> there, there's a few, there's a few way to make sure your mental health is steady and stable. As far as I am concerned, surround yourself with, with good people. It is because people with strong family and social connection are gen generally healthier than those who lack of support network. Make a plan with your supportive family members and friends or seek out activity where we where we can meet new people such as a club class or support group What's your opinion Afika do you have any suggestion on how to cope with mental health in my opinion by talking to someone if you have stress or nervous you can share your problems with someone who cares because it can really stress and calm your nervous system therefore it is also important to listening to others in supported way because it will make both part both parties feel feel calm and comfortable to share and hear each other okay thank you how about you in my tk don't skip on sleep sleep is our body and mind and mind this way to reach us and regenerate. One way to get sleep better is to take a break from the stimulation of skin like television, tablets, phones or coffee on co or computer in the hours before bed time. We should consider reading or listening to relax your Music is the Okay, thank you, Asma. Hey, Sarah. What's your opinion about this topic? Uh, in my opinion, we can do activities that we enjoy. For example, we can try continue doing the activities that we find uh, meaningful and enjoyable, such as uh, watching a movie, playing with our pets, or maybe sing our favorite songs in uh, while studying. Thus, uh, we can maintain our good mental health uh, with having a regular routine uh, that makes us delight. Okay. How about you? Uh, in my point of view, uh, get ourselves indulged in exercise also can help us to cope with mental health. Uh, for instance, we do jogging outdoors at the lake instead of uh, indoors on a treadmill. This is like killing two birds with one stone uh, due to we can enjoy the magnificent scenery and get inspired at the same time. As a result, we are able to stay fit and keep our mind uh, out uh, and keep our mind out of hustle and bustle life and uh, which lead to give uh, peace and searing uh, to our mind and can reduce stress that we face all day. As conclusion, we need to 
Castivously of what had given by Almighty because prevention is better than cure. That's it. Okay. That's all from us. Thank you for watching. Bye.